Hi there, I am Anita Johnston with Windermere Real Estate on Woodby Island. Today, my Tuesday tip is prepping a house to paint it. Um, one of the things, you know, people quickly say they want to paint a house. house. There's a lot of prep work that goes into it. You definitely, you need to check to see if your paint is peeling, if it's chipping. If so, you might need to use a scraper. You can scrape those areas to get that loose paint off because once you paint it, it's going to continue to flake off. It's not going to adhere as well as it could. You can also use a spray washer. Um, depending on the type of product you have on your home, the siding, spray washing might not be that good of a choice. Um, especially if it's an older LP siding, you want to be really careful with it. It is a fragile project product, so you do need to be careful. But what you're looking for is the integrity of the boards. You want to make sure that you don't have a lot of peeling, a lot of chipping, and then around your windows, you want to check for dry rot at the base of your doors and windows. You also want to check to see if those boards have rotted out. Quite often, um, as the water runs down, it will rot that bottom couple inches. So you might need to cut that out and put in a replacement board, nail that or screw that into place, and then go ahead and caulk around those seams and then go ahead and paint it with your trim paint. But this is a side that we have already done. And um, we did a really good job. There was four of us painting, and so we were quick at it. But I'm gonna show you my buddy Joel. I'm actually at his house, and here he is, right up at the very tip, tip top. And so those can definitely be trouble areas of simply trying to get to those areas. You see how high he is, and you've got all those windows up there. So it can be tricky getting your ladder there, not breaking out your window and you might need to rent a ladder that will get you to the height. Um, quite often you'll have structures, you know, you might have a shed that you've got to go around. Sometimes using a roller on a long wand will get you into those spaces um, that makes it a lot easier. Um, sometimes you can have some old homeowner fixes to where they've used spray foam. It's not always the best thing. It's not necessarily meant to be weathered. Um, so maybe some caulking would have would have been a little bit better. But then you can have also these areas that you see that might have rotted out. Um, and then make sure that your drains are going down into your French drain area. Um, but this is another side that we've already done. And another thing is cutting back all the bushes and the foliage. You definitely don't want to leave trees touching your house. Um, it will hold in more moisture to your siding. It will also um, allow all the branches to then hit at your house and deteriorate your siding further. But this is Nita. This is just my quick Tuesday tip on keeping your house in great condition or getting it ready to sell. And once again, I'm Anita. I'm with Windermere. If you have further questions, just buzz me. Thanks. Have a great day.